My name is Pantsless, Detective Richard Pantsless. I'm a sleuth, a spy, a Seamus. The fog in Naked City shrouds a hundred mysteries, a thousand secrets, and a million mesquite. Damn it! Blood sucking. Ow! I love to solve a mystery, to right a wrong that needed rightening, to feel the wind against my shins. The Pantsless Detective, in color, in framed by the past. Act one, happy memory time. Is he in? D Richard, do you have a visitor? It's her. Send her in. No, I, I mean it's... I was eating a frozen dinner when she walked in the room. Hello, Richard. Oh. You, her. Yes, it's been a while. Constance Trustworthy. A figure from my past. Someone with which I might have shared some events that we can hint at awkwardly. It's been a long time. Not long enough, Dollface. You still haven't forgiven me? Forgive? Forgive? Did Washington forgive Arnold? Did Caesar forgive Brutus? Did Jesus forgive everybody? Actually, he did. Leave me alone, you doe-eared harpy. My dinner is getting warm. Oh, Richard, I'm so, so sorry. That's I know all right, how... Dollface. I have another in the freezer. I mean, I know how much your father's legacy meant to you. I never meant for you to lose your detective pants. Well, what did you think was going to happen? He was blackmailing me. I had no choice. No choice? No choice? You can choose what to wear to work in the morning, what route to take, when to say, No, Charlie, I won't order those Girl Scout cookies from your daughter, you two-faced monster. You always have a choice. We're going to conduct any actual business, or is this just happy memory time? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I've gotten mixed up in something I shouldn't have. And now I'm afraid for my safety. I think I'm being watched. I need you to observe me discreetly to see if I'm being tailed. I can put my intern Smitty on the no, case. No, it needs I... to be you, Richard. You're the only one left that I trust. When and where? Nice shoes, by the way. Oh, thank you. They're vintage earthworm leather. <laughs> She had me a trust, that reindeer vixen. Knew how to play me like a puppeteer pulling my piano strings. Nothing is more important to me than trust. I was silly putty in her plastic eggshell hands. I rose at dawn to tail her like truck nuts on a pickup. Her normal errands were uneventful. But something about this bothered me. It was easy. Too easy. The hours turned into days, days into weeks, weeks into realizing I don't know how to use the calendar, all with no sign that anyone was following her. Not even me. Oh. Hey! By the end of the first day, I was convinced. Like a goat in a pillow shop, she was in no apparent danger. I thanked her for her business and called it a night. I went back to my office for a nightcap when I found a mustachioed mystery man messing with my miscellanea. Who are you and what are you doing here? Oh no, you're not supposed to be here. With my mitts full and my heater in my coat, I was helpless as a T-Rex hailing a cab. I can't find it, but you can tell me where it is. Yeah. Oh. Well, who are you working for? My rival McAdams? Bruno Weisenheimer? The Milk Council? Yeah, 
Give me what he wants. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Who is this mustachioed mystery man? Is Pencils headed for a beatdown? And wasn't that selfish of our original thug actor to move to London for a year? Find out next time on The Pencilless Detective. Tune in next time for another exciting episode of The Pantsless Detective.